An air and sea search is continuing for possible survivors of the Edmund Fitzgerald, a 729-foot ore carrier, which apparently broke apart and sunk last night on Lake Superior. The ship and its 29-man crew vanished in a storm with 80-mile-an-hour winds and wave heights up to 25 feet. All that has been found is an oil slick and some debris. <laughs> The legend lives on from the Chippewan down up the big lake they call Get Sugar Man. The lake it is there never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With the load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the heaven and the Fitzgerald weighed empty. A big ship and true was a bummed a bit chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with the growing good captain well seasoned, concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left for a load of Later that night when the ship's bell rang It'd be the north wind they'd been feeling The wind in the wild made a tattle tale sound And a wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was risen rain In the face of a hurricane west wind Supper time came, the old cook came on deck Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you At 7 p.m. a main hatch we gave you And he said, fellas, it's been good to know you The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the big ship and crew was in peril And later that night when his lights went in sight in the record of the Edmund the Fitzgerald. He last got contact with him for me to talk to him. But about four minutes after he got a 1910, and he was saying he was going along fine and no problem. But it looks from the information that we have that it's uh, fairly certain that the uh, Fitzgerald went down. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn in minutes to hours? The searchers all say they a big white fish bit. They put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up, but oh, they might have capsized. They may have broke even to the water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron rose a billion seas In the rooms of the ice water mansion Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are the sportsmen Farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Oregon Center And the iron boats go as the mariners long